Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinux Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and welcome to this new video on uh, on Floki. I uh, wanted to do a bit of an update. We'll do a more in-depth analysis uh, than yesterday. Yesterday was 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 good, but uh, right now we need a little bit more a little bit more of an in-depth analysis because we're pretty volatile, and the fundamental situation has changed a lot as well. All right. So yesterday we were uh, very bullish. All right, because what happened is that uh, GameStop did very well. So what that usually means in crypto is that, well, I, I cannot show you uh, that quick, but usually what that means is that meme coins are performing quite well as well. All right, so that's what we saw. We saw in the morning after the, the, the pre-market and etc. Et opened and we saw GameStop was up like, um, I'm not even sure how much, like, like 200%, not sure, could be wrong. Uh, we saw meme coins rally. So Floki, for example, Pepe were quite strong. Other meme coins like Bonk, um, With and Doge were not that strong, but all right. Um, so, so what you saw is you saw some major buy orders coming in for Floki. And that's also where kind of the problem comes in because we did get some, some significant bullish breakouts. Uh, for example, right here, or mainly right here on top of 26,000, which you can see right here, there's a major key level. Um, so broke above that, gained a lot of momentum, found resistance here at 28,000, also in the morning. And what happened since then is that, like I said, we got some very big buy orders, but the momentum compared to the momentum we had when we were very bullish, which you can see, was very, very different. And what we've seen since basically yesterday evening is a bit of a T-Web sell-off, all right? So you can see an average or, or you can see a sell-off almost every hour. Um, which is very dangerous, right? Because if, if that happens, if, if, if like we have to assume that if you look at these moves, in total $20 million in positions were opened. Excuse me for my nose, it's a, it's a bit of hay fever or something. Um, but to, $20 million in positions being opened, mostly long positions. Um, if they have to sell off that much money, that's going to cause the price to, to dump down quite a bit. And then all of a sudden, a significant support level that we broke or a significant key level that we broke above in 26,000, all of a sudden, that doesn't matter that much anymore. So right now, what I, what I want to see is I want to see us gain some momentum from this level. So keep your eyes on that open interest. So far, we found some support there. Um, but if we actually want to see a, a relatively bullish flow key, which would be a flow key that consolidates here, uh, and then eventually gets a breakout and rallies and rallies up to thirty one thousand. If we want to see this scenario, which I think is the is is the is the bullish case scenario right here, uh, we need to see the open interest go up. And if that doesn't happen in the next two or three hours, then I think we have to assume or I think we have to prepare uh, that this uh, coordinated sell off continues, and that we'll see a drop down below twenty six thousand. And if that happens, we're back to where we were. Uh, which is consolidating right here on top of 23,700 and basically not being bullish, uh, but being neutral. All right, so I think that's what you need to know. My nose is also playing up quite a bit, which I which I hate. Um, so it's a relatively short video, but but that's the main thing. All right, what I what I would ultimately the most easy way to do this if you don't want to keep an eye on the open interest is wait for either this support level to break uh, to break. I mean, if 26,000 breaks, we're doomed either way or at 27,200 to break. If we break back above that, then I think it's safe to assume we'll consolidate and we'll stay relatively strong. Otherwise, I would uh, assume the worst. But that's what you need to know for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, have a great day and bye.